You just got to understand. You don't want to get stuck in a rut. That's not good. It is the biggest turnoff to scouts. They do not want to be stuck in the same thing over and over and over. You never, you, you, you never want to be in that situation. You want to move on. You need to think outside the box, or as I like to say, outside the tent. Okay, There's a lot out there that can be done. And there's a lot of new and different things that we can do. Um, looking, looking at your council, at your district, wherever you are in your unit, if you're looking at a, at a district uh, committee or the program or whatever's going on, they like things that are successful, that reach and and help the maximum amount of number of scouts. That's what they want. But if they're doing the same thing over and over and over, it's going to have declining numbers of participants because they've already done that. They've already been there. So you have to think of new things. Now, summer camp is a good example. Summer camp, day camp, every year there should be a different and a new theme. Now, summer camp can be boring. So a lot of troops will go from different different camps all over. They don't have to. It's not necessary. Your local camp can do a lot of really good stuff. They just need to do it in a, a theme, a process. Uh, same thing's true with day camps, with Cub Scouts. Day camps always come up with a new theme. I've had bugs as a theme uh, at a day camp. I've had things like um, farm animals and under the sea and all the different things that go on at space and all that. There's different themes. You have to keep their attention by mixing it up. Now, granted, the structure is about the same but it should have the flavor towards that theme. And there's different things you can do. Now, I personally think of two, uh, three, three basic rules. Um, the first rule is that you wanna put two years between any particular camp, okay? So if you're going to summer camp, and this is, this is what I recommend. If you go to summer camp, you should do it locally, okay? Wherever you are, there is a local camp that you, as a local, should support. That being said, it's not the only camp, okay? There are other camps that are nearby that might be just as good. Now, I've had, I've been on troops that always like to camp because I live in, in Florida, okay? Um, and during the summer, especially in July and August, it is hot, okay? It's hot. It's not like Phoenix, but it's hot, okay? The troop that I belong to, we go out of state. And a lot of times we'd be out of state, we'd look at our phones and our uh, our computers in the in the scout lounge at the other camp. And guess what? It was actually hotter where we were up north than we were back if we had stayed at our own camp. So weather should not be the thing that determines where you go to camp, okay? So that being the first big rule, put about two years between any particular activity, okay? So if in year one, you did that activity, two years later, the third year, that's when you do it again, okay? That way there's time, there's a little bit of flow through the unit, whether it be a pack or a, a, a troop, there's a little bit of flow there so that new people can go and people who have done it before can go and and that way you get a nice flow with a troop especially with day camp and summer camp uh, excuse me uh, with with troops and packs day camps and summer camps you want to go to a local situation okay and that should always be different and I'm putting the onus on your district program people to come up with the good themes and to really come up with those things for um, scouts in a troop 
going to a summer camp, I put the onus on the, the council. The council should be coming up with themes and activities that are unique and different every single year. I know it's hard. It's not easy. So that being the first, the first principle is two years. Put two years in between. The second one is you always want to be looking for something different. Okay, whether it be the waterfront has a water slide, or um, there's they're now doing ATVs. Okay, at summer camp, or the archery range will be open every single day at day camp. Okay, so these are things that you want to keep in mind. You got to keep it interesting for the scouts because they're investing their time and you're investing your time. Um, you want to make it interesting. Um, Always remember, listen up, councils. Listen. The people that brought the scouts to camp have given up their week of work world, money, okay, vacation. They've given that up so that they could come and be there. Please give those people areas where they could check in on their businesses or their work that's something that they need to have so that being the case i'm just saying that for the for the councils out there make sure you have something for them so that they are appreciated that shows that they're being appreciated that their time is being appreciated the third big thing that i try to put out there is to make sure that you're getting feedback okay that you're telling the council you're telling the district you're telling the uh, program chair of your district, you're telling them what you like and don't like. You gotta do both. You can't just do them separately, okay? Now, I'm gonna link to another episode I'm gonna do later, okay? Not right now, okay? When this comes out, it won't be available, but I'm gonna put it up here. And uh, I'll, put, I'll put some stuff up there, but make sure you come back and check that out. I want to make a link to it and I want to call it um, Space Station Campery or Space Station Camp Out. And I want to talk a little bit about that. And uh, that way you get an idea of how you can really mix it up and make it different. Okay. So that's, those are, these are things that you can do. So first thing is put about two years between every kind of event. Uh, the second thing is make sure that you, um, uh, you, you've you done that event and that you can thrive at that event and do that event well, okay? You're not going to be trapped or feel like you're trapped. Uh, and the third big thing is to making sure that you give good feedback. Because we always said in, in Wood Badge, feedback is a gift. Got to give that feedback, not just negative, positive too. Give that feedback to the program people in your district or council to, to help them make the whole thing better. And always think outside the tent because your scouts deserve it, you deserve it, okay? You're donating time to scouting and helping these young people do great things. So you need to think about it too. Keep that in mind. And until next time, I'll see you on the trail.